guide dogs are interested in e-scooters. We've done crash testing at 15 and a half miles an hour. Our results showed that it's hit at 15 and a half miles an hour. This could cause potentially fatal injuries to both the pedestrian and the e-scooter rider. They should be regulated and they should have some kind of registration number so to identify them. We have a dog as well as a baby, so we are concerned with uh, people that ride their scooters on the sidewalk. We're hearing a lot from blind and party sighted people about their concerns at the speed of e-scooters. They're electric, so you have very little sound which makes it very difficult for people with sight loss to know where they are. They're just really quiet and all of a sudden they just come past you and without any notice and it just kind of puts you in shock, right? We've witnessed people using it like really high speed on the sidewalk among people with kids and dogs. I'm not really for them. I think they're really dangerous. They should stay on the road or just not on pedestrian lanes at all. With the government e-scooter trials, the maximum speed is 15 and a half miles an hour that the e-scooters can go at. But we do know of privately owned e-scooters that have been modified to go up to 70 miles an hour and this is a real concern to us. We've heard from visually impaired people who have been either struck or had a near miss with an e-scooter on a pavement. We need to stop this. It shouldn't be happening. I think there's definitely some grey areas in the law but in general I just treat it similar to running a bike. As someone with sight loss and a guide dog owner, I really want to be able to leave my home with confidence and travel independently without being concerned that I may come into contact with an e-scooter on a pavement. Guide dogs.